Hey everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear, and we're looking at a brand new marker from Azoden today. This is the Azoden Blitz 4. See, it comes in a new packaging right here, the blue and black box. Still has the Azoden logos on it, the uh, flat rate postal logo still on there as well. So this ship's nice and easy. Opening it up, we've got our warranty card, and then a nice manual right here, which gives a full breakdown of the gun and its main parts right here. And then a reg breakdown right there, trigger assembly breakdown right there, which is really nice to get um, a good idea on how the gun works and how to physically maintenance your gun. Uh, Zen board operation over here for your firing modes, rates of fire, things like that. This board is like the other board where it has semi-auto, a PSP mode, and a full auto mode, and they're capped um, in each mode. So. Uh, if we look at this right here, let me just see. So semi-auto, um, 20 BPS, it's going to cap out at 20. In the PSP ramping, it caps out at 10.5. Uh, there's another semi-auto mode where it's capped at 15. And we've got the full auto, 10.5. Um, so that's the way the board comes set up. Now, there are these programming modules that certain shops have. I do have one here at this shop where you can actually go into the programming of the board and you can flash it and change the like rates of fire and things like that that are on there. If you were looking for certain uh, certain things or, or differences or you wanted to change it. Um, and so you just have to look around for a shop by you that can do that. Um, but there are ways to change it, but you it is preset. Once I flash your board to a different setting, it's set like that. And that's the way it will always be until you flash it into something else. So nice uh, little setup like there. I like this hard copy of this. Now you can go to Azone's website and download uh, the other manual as well, but this is really, I mean, it gives you everything you need on here. Uh, in the box, you're gonna get spare parts, Allen keys, uh, little barrel sleeve right there. You got your barrel, this is like a 12 inch, probably six, eight, nine, cocker threaded like, like normal barrel. And then let's move this out of the way so we can really look at the, the gun. So this feed neck is not a lever feed neck. It does clamp down in the way that if you tighten this screw on the top, it will squeeze down on the loader, but there is no lever that will clamp that down. Uh, regulator assembly is different this time than it was on the original Blitz 3. If I am not mistaken, the original, the original Blitz 3 was preset and you could not adjust the reg pressure in that gun. On the four now, you can see that there is an adjustment screw on the bottom, so you can control the regulated pressure coming through the gun by putting an Allen key in the bottom and adjusting it. Uh, velocity adjustment is still done through the back here as well. It's kind of a combination of the two. If you're making big adjustments through here, if this is set too low, obviously the gun might not cycle properly. So you set this pressure properly and then you fine tune adjust through the back right here by turning this in or out. Uh, same functionality as we saw before, uh, eye system controlled through the back. It does have eyes in it, so it's gonna help monitor that breach for paintballs or chopping, anything like that. Bolt pin does pop up, Let's slide right out. Let me see if I can get this out by hand. I don't think I can. Let's see if I can do it this way. Oh, oh there we go. This one is actually just a little bit too big. I'm gonna try it with this one there. That's much better. This way we can get the entirety of the gun out here. So we've got our guide rod, our spring and bumper, and our piston, or our piston, our uh, striker, hammer, whatever you wanna call it. So inside this pin locks into the striker just like that, like we've seen before. Spring goes inside the striker on the bottom, the bumper is in the way, and this goes like that. So every time the gun cycles, this compresses down. There's a notch cut out in the bottom of the striker right here that catches on the sear, holds it back. Then when you pull the trigger, the sear moves, spring tension pushes the hammer forward, strikes the valve, process repeats itself. Very, very important in these particular gun setups, this style gun, Kingman, Spiders, Piranhas, Azodins, whatever it happens to be, that this pin locks into this 
hammer assembly right here. And even when you get into much higher level guns, LV1s, impulses, things like that, that will use the same setup, G6R, where the pin goes through the bolt and locks into the ram assembly, the hammer, whatever it happens to be, if you don't properly link the two together, you really can cause some damage on the inside of the gun. Believe me, we've seen all sorts. So it's very important that you set this up properly um, in order to get it to function. Now, when we go to put this back in, we do need to have one of two scenarios going on. A, we either need to have a battery in the gun or we need to have the grips off. And I'll tell you why in just a second when we get that far. While I'm pulling these screws off, magnetic trigger return still, trigger adjustments are on there. All the features that we noticed from before are still there. We've got the jumper at the bottom that can tournament lock the gun so you can't get in and change any modes or anything like that. Um, the same basic board setup on the back, colored lights are the same. But when we go to put this back together, remember the sear is sticking up and it is, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see it in the way down inside there on this bottom tube, right down in there. So when this tries to go in, it's going to run into it right there. So we need to move that lever out of the way so that this can slide by and go inside. Now the linkage needs to go like this and obviously these two can't slide together right now because this bolt pin is going to run into the, the uh, separation right here. So it's going to hit this bridge. So we have to put the striker in first and then we're going to put the bolt in and lock in place and then we're going to put our spring in and our back cap. What I don't recommend you do is put the hammer in and then put this in and tighten it down. Once this spring right here becomes under load, it's going to want to rotate. As the spring compresses down, it wants to twist. And what's going to happen is it's going to twist this hammer around inside here and it's going to make it so the hole does not line up anymore and you can't lock your pin in properly. So this is what you do. You're going to put your striker in so that your hole is up. You're going to put a little bit of pressure on it and then we are going to activate our solenoid by hand which by doing that it makes the sear drop out of the way and then we can push our hammer into the gun. Now you can see that the hole is lined up so it's facing straight up and down. I'm going to take my bolt, I'm going to look where the hole is, I'm going to slide this in, I'm going to lock my pin in place. And then if you look down inside there, you might be able to see that or not, you can see that the bolt pin is locked in to the hammer in the bottom, or the striker, whatever you want to call it. Now we can take our spring, put that in there, make sure that our bumper, this rubber part right here, goes around the spring. It does not go in the front, in front of the hammer that we just put in there. So that goes in there like that. This goes in and now when we rotate this, because the striker and the bolt are locked together, it can't move. It can't go anywhere. And then we can just tighten it down like that. And now we're all back together. These guns are very simple to operate, very simple to understand, very easy to maintain. And now with the adjustment of the regulator, I think it makes it even easier. This is the brand new Blitz 4. It's available in a couple of different colors. So get on the website, check those colors out. We'll do shooting videos of it outside. We'll see all the goods on it at ansgear.com.